What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Bloodborne. And last time we did, well, we, we defeated Murgo's wet nurse. So basically finished the base game outside of going over here and seeing our buddy Gearman. Uh, we put, oh God. Thank you for ruining my intro RP. I appreciate that. Um, anyways, uh, we, um, we were doing some chalice dungeons. I don't think I'm gonna go through all of them. Uh, but we, what we will do is search for the uh, dungeon that was requested by chat, which is uh, C-U-M-M. -M. I lost it. F-P-K. All right. Join the dungeon. And now we'll go in, and apparently I'm just supposed to stand still once we enter the dungeon. Um... So, I don't know how this works. Why am I not entering the dungeon? Oh, there we go. So, I believe this is supposed to give you a bunch of blood echoes as soon as you go in. I guess we'll find out right now together as a group. I've never done this before. I've actually never used any, like, searchable dungeons in Bloodborne. My... Am I supposed to move or what? You guys said stand still, Billy, I think. That's not the right button. This done I Oh my health's gone! Okay, it's a modifier on the dungeon. So do I do I I guess I go over here. And open this door. I don't like that I have no health. <laughs> Should be a health bar on the left side that starts dropping. So why is this the cum dungeon? There's no cum. You guys lied. What's up, Vanda? Um... I... Don't see a health bar. Just because his name is Kama, okay. Alright, that's fair. I'm afraid to go in further. I believe so, Vanda. There's a chest in here, though. Ooh, what is this? Dude, Ritual Blood 5, alright. Bullets. Cocktails. Wait, there's cut content bosses in here? What? Uh, I would like to see them. That would be cool. Get her back. I'm trying to. Wait, is there actually something? No. Dude, this is creepy. Look, these are we, these are new statues, I think. I don't think we've seen these kind before. Uh, they're little watcher, or little, uh, little dudes. I forget their names. Why am I forgetting their names? The little dudes. They're watchers? They're not watchers. Are they watchers? Either way. Uh, Alright, let's go find the lever, I guess. I'm a little scared. I'll try the other code too, Billy. It doesn't cost anything to do this, so... I'm terrified. It's empty, which is creepier than there being enemies here. Ah, fuck. Alright, so we have to kill one dude. And I can't get hit. Okay, it's doable. He's not that strong. I almost got bopped right there. Holy fuck! 95,000 from that! Okay. Well, that's one way to get a, a lot of- I guess you can, you can farm this technically. Just don't get hit. Alright, well now I'm like- This is bad. I'm curious. Now, what's over here? Are we just back at the beginning? Probably, but I'll probably take fall damage and die from that, so we're gonna run back.
They're not called watchers. They're called messengers. I don't know why I was calling them watchers. Either way, this is fucking weird, though. All right, let's see what, uh... What's over here this way? Uh, there might not even be a boss, I guess. It could just be the next room. Or the next level. Oh, we gotta go over here. It's all one shot, too, so if I fuck up one time, we're just... Okay, there's... Yeah, yeah, I don't... I don't know about that. Ah, fuck! Oh, that actually scared me, because we're one shot. All right, I'm, I'm out of here. We're leaving. I'm being pursued! Oh, God. Who's Keeper of the Old Lords? Oh, it's this dude again. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm gonna try the other code, Billy. I'm not I'm not good enough to not get hit by that dude once. So we would have just lost our echoes. There are two cut bosses, one has invisible projectiles, the other is a moon presence rejected design. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I don't want that. I wanna go up here and is there a way to like reset this yeah okay so let's try the other one uh the first one was fpk right yes yeah, so we'll try um oh wait no did i do pfk or hold on did i did i type it in wrong fpk we did originally did i put pfk okay no that was the right one oh either way Okay, so that was the whole thing there. If you kill that dude, you get 95,000. That was cool. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, uh, I guess we'll level up. We really don't need to at this point, but might as well. Go. Very well yeah, go ahead and find the actual code. Um, we'll go Blood Tinge and... I mean, I, I, I just... We'll just do skill. All right, we'll put the Chicago back on and then put on the um, church pick as a backup. Uh, we'll repair our weapons and then if you find that code, Billy, we'll go ahead and do it. And then I think we're going to go visit uh, Mr. Gearmond at the tree. I want to go here and repair this and this. And I guess that is broken or damaged. Yeah, so that that was the right one then, Billy. That's what that's what I went to. What's up, Ronan? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Yeah, so that dude drops like ninety-five thousand runes. That's cool. All right. Well, I think with that, I think we're gonna go see Mr. Gearman then at the foot of the tree. Um, before I do that, we are going to pop all of our umbilical cords. Actually, Vanda. Yeah, if you want to throw the cut content bosses in, if you know the codes and you share them real quick, I will definitely go try to get to them and see them because I've never seen them before. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ronan. I hope he's doing okay. Possible gastro bug. I don't know what that means exactly, but I hope I hope that he's okay. Level 3 has a headless bloodletting beast of that dungeon. So, okay, I'm pretty sure that keeper of the old lords right there didn't have a hat. So I think he was headless. But I panicked. Or she. Whatever it is. I don't know. Um, okay, hold on. Let me type that in real quick. Uh, glyph. S-I-K. G-C. 3-S-M. Let's see if we can find it. Nah, I'm not doing the rest of the regular ones. I don't feel like going through the grind or going through all the Chalice Dungeons. I'm ready to move on from Bloodborne. I had a blast playing it again. Um, but I don't feel like going through the rest. He's fine. Our levels have been high but stable over the weekend. Oh, where are the... Hold on one second, Ronan. I'll read that in one second. Okay. 
We're good. He's fine now. Levels have been high, but stable over the weekend in the room. Hyper hyperglycemia is easier to treat than hyper hypoglycemia. Okay. Being high is in a real issue. Being low is gotcha. What, what do you mean? Oh, oh. Do I go through the door? I didn't see tenties. What in the actual fuck is this supposed to be, Vanda? Who is this? Is this the Moon Presence one? It looks like it might be the Moon Presence. Ow. Oh, we do okay damage. False Moon Presence, okay. Ow. Okay. Dude, that is so cool. We'll try again. Yeah, it's an unofficial, it's a, it's an unofficial uh, boss run, and this is really cool. All right, so there's one more also. Um, I need to find that. I can scroll back up in chat and find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, you can't even. <laughs> Being that it's like a. a not an official thing, it can, it's like, it aggroes when you immediately, okay. Oh, Hermaeus, Hermaeus more. I knew I knew that name from somewhere. It's Asia Prince of Knowledge and Elder Scrolls, gotcha. <laughs> Stop, I can't get in the room! All right. So this was the other idea for Fishing Hamlet, okay. Or the beta version of it. This thing hits real fucking hard. So if we get hit like one time, we die. I assume it doesn't have a full move set. I like their final version of Moon Presence a little better than this, but the giant tenties are kind of cool. Some hitboxes just exist. Yeah, I think their final version's a little cooler. Oh yeah, Ren, we got the Chicago. Oh, you fly. Oh, do you have a phase? Is it gonna phase? What are you doing? Oh, okay, big slam. Okay, so if you just stay. Oh, look at that little orb on it right there. It's like kind of lit up. Like, obviously, they didn't finish the textures for it, right? So that's why it looks the way it does. Dude, every fucking hit is like your entire health bar. I'm waiting for it to pull a new move out that I'm not ready for. How do bullets do against you? Not bad, actually. Shoot the tenties. Oh. The false moon presence goes down. <laughs> that was cool. Where's my reward, game? Yeah, obviously you wouldn't get anything because it's not a real boss. Can I? Am I stuck in here? Oh no, I don't have any bull hunter marks. Can I fall off the map? Blightmare slam. Blightmare slam. 
Oh, you can pull off right here. Oh no, am I stuck in here? Yeah, I forgot. I, in my mind, I thought, oh fuck, we just soft locked, but. Um, how do I get out of here? Wonder how long we'll fall for. How long do you think we'll go? <laughs> no, it was stuck there. It would be really funny if we brick the save. I really wouldn't be that upset at you, Vanda, honestly. Uh, cause that was cool. And I'd never seen that before. Let's see if we continue where it puts us at. Oh no. Is there actually no way to get out of here? Can someone find out how to get out of here? Cause we should probably figure that out. Cause we have no lantern and I don't think Anything here is going to help us. Yeah, but the problem is we'll just die here and be back here again. You know what I mean? Like this is where it's putting us. Here, let's see. There's a staircase somewhere. I mean, this is a staircase right here. But what do I do? Here, I'll look it up while you're looking at it. That's pretty cool, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This is from two years ago, so let's see. This is a different boss I think they're fighting. Okay, if you fall out of bounds, it'll work. Wait, if I play offline, what will happen? Because this is an online dungeon. Let's see what happens. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. All right, so this is falling out of bounds right here. Do we let it go and see what happens?
Let's just let it go for a minute. I can't... Oh, I can attack. Because <laughs> we're falling, technically. Three hours later, yeah. Here, let's... I'll, I'll, look, I'll do a little searching while we wait. Oh. So this should just put us back up top there, right? Let's see. Oh, fuck yeah. Whew. All right. Crisis averted. We're good. All right. So before I enter the next dungeon, let's let's uh let's confirm how to get out. Yeah, that was a close one. Cuz I do want I want to see this. So if it, if it's safe, if there's a way to get out of the other one, well, I'll do that as well. Um because if we go to end the game, we won't have access to the chalices anymore or we just do it afterwards. Um Let's see, stuck in... So hunter marks won't help us though, because they don't take you back to the dream. They take you back to the beginning of the dungeon, right? I think that's the issue. Yeah, so they do the same thing. I'll buy some, but it, I don't, I don't, that doesn't actually solve anything. I do want to see that last boss, though. I really am curious of what's going to happen with it. Oh, that was the wrong one. That's fine. Wait, where's my... um? Oh, hold on. I'm offline. Wonder if that matters or not. Yeah, everyone's I don't I don't like that everyone says you can't get out of them. Obviously, it's true that you can. I like that we're risking this entire playthrough right now. It's also kind of fun. If this was on PC, it wouldn't matter because I could just copy the save file, but it's not, so. This one? All right, where is it at? All right, so do does anyone want to confirm before I do this that it actually has a way to get out so we don't get stuck? I don't know where you found the answer at, Vanda, because when I looked, it said you were, you're screwed, but apparently you're not screwed because we just got out of that one. Conductor? Close? Hmm. The code is... This is the code. For the other one. Ah, uh, okay. It's called the Great One. Uh... Okay, so the only way to leave the dungeon is to jump into the unanimated chasm and die. You will wake up in the Hunter's Dream, but your blood will be trapped in the dungeon. It says to back up your save file first. Um... But apparently, according to the Bloodborne Wiki, um, you can actually... Um, can get out of here. I don't know. How, how do I back up a save on PS5? How do you even do that? Bring fire. Nah, we got, we're not, we're fine. I mean, well, I'm not necessarily trying to kill it. I mean, we can... Cloud save, right? That's the thing.
Uh, I think we have Molotovs. According to the wiki, it says we should be okay to do this. I'm like nervous though. Oh, Zulia the Witch and, and Santa Disc found this. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so, but your blood icons will be trapped in the dungeon. Let's hope this wiki is good as, as of 2018. So we should be okay. A R K H V two V S. Fuck it, let's go. Everyone knows how Bloodborne ends already, anyway, right? If you're watching this playthrough for the first time somehow on YouTube, listen. If we would get stuck in this infinite plane. Technically, that would be a pretty fitting Lovecraftian ending. Ah, fuck, it's alive! Doggo! Oh, we got like a red eye, that's cool. Alright, listen, I can't move. Dude, this shit looks... It looks like kind of like a... Well, it has like the Berserk... Uh, like, you know, it got his like inner demon thing. It has that, uh, that kind of look to it. Yeah, it's like the Berserk. The, so it's like the Watchdog looks like the Berserk Beast Dog already, but this one also has the same has a similar aesthetic. What the hell hit me? This one's scarier than the other one. Uh, Health-wise, it's not as scary though. So that, that, oh, you, I, I got hurt just by touching it. I wonder if it was meant to have, like, an effect around it. Oh, it has an AoE damage aura, yeah. It was called the Great One Beast. Is this, is this song from a different, is this track in the game normally? All right, so we should just do the same thing we did for the last boss and it should work. Um, I hope. That was cool though, I like that. I've never seen those two bosses before. I like it. That's a good call, Vanda. Yeah, the music just cuts off. So this is from data miners, you know, Zuli and Santa Disk or whatever. They were data mining and they found these c codes. So that's kind of cool that the developers just had this made because they were trying, they were thinking about using these guys. The Coom Dungeon was cool though. I don't, I didn't hate it. It was kind of creepy because it was quiet and there were no enemies. Obviously, when they were developing this, they would have like a debug mode so they could just get out and do whatever they wanted. Which I'm sure there's a way to do that if you had like a cracked PS5 or PS4. All right, well that was a cool little uh, little adventure right there. But with that, we are ready to go to the end of the game. That is not the button I wanted to press because I'm not playing Elden Ring. Um, so I used all of the umbilical cords. Oh, we used four, so we're even better then. Let's go. There's also an infinite enemy chalice dungeon, kind of like a roguelike, but that one got, can get fucky. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're, we won't go down that route. All right, Gearman. Let's go have a conversation. Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end now. I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be free from this terrible hunter's dream. Yeah, I, I did, Billy. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kenny? Dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? It doesn't matter. E 
Indeed, always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. I don't actually know if Gearman's weapon's good. Because you can get it. Tonight, Gearman joins the hunt. Technically, you could get it, then back out before the final fight and use it. It's okay. It looks cool. That's not what I wanted to do. I just want to parry him. Hey, I wanted to parry you. Don't do that. Oh, you can. He staggers pretty quick. Also, Gearman's very, he gets taller when he stands up, like way taller. Oh, gun time. Well, for me, I guess. Oh, he's gonna blow up or explode. I don't know what that does. Oh, it's not an explosion, Never mind. Oh, he, oh, no. He dodged my bullet. That's what I was thinking of. This right here. Didn't he explode? Should I probably should have did something about that instead of watched him do it. I think he's going Ultra Instinct right now. Yep, he is. I didn't even know he was going to use a gun right there. Oh, he's like, okay. I see how it works. Doesn't mean I'm going to ever dodge it. Oops. Oh. Yeah, he's powered up by Moon Juice. I wonder if you can actually stop him during that last attack he does right there. Like when he powers up the second time, I wonder if you can get a visceral off on him. That would like, if that would stop that phasing, like you can do the same thing with Logarius before he gets the shield from the projectile shield. You can with the Kirk hammer. Oh, really? Streaming beating up on an old man on Father's Day no less. <laughs> Listen, Gearman's not our daddy. He doesn't really hit that hard. Like, comparatively to other enemies. Like, well, I guess Orphan is what I'm thinking of. Or, like, any of the DLC bosses, but that kind of makes sense, right? I just want to parry him, and it's not going to work out, is it? Gas coins are daddy. What's that smell? Beasts all over the shop. Time to stun lock you to death. Oh. Oh, that little, little, uh, he does like a good enough. Like, what did he do right? Like, he went like in a. Like a like an arc right there when he dashed us. That was pretty cool. Okay, it's a shotgun until he gets real angry. Uh, I wonder if he's putting uh the bone marrow stuff in it whenever he like loads. All right, you cannot stop that one, at least. This is gonna hurt. Back up. I could've probably damn near killed him right there, I bet. That's what I don't want to get hit by.
I've actually never really listened to the soundtrack during the Gearman fight. It's actually pretty good. It's very sad, which is, you know, kind of appropriate for the situation. Well, in a way, Gearman is probably happy about this right now. If he would lose. Our boy's been stuck here for a hot minute. Too early. All right, time to kill. You must Are you fucking serious? Be freed from the night. Papa Gascoin, I'm pretty sure Gearman was an incel. I think Gearman is kind of like an incel with Maria. You wish you had. You wish we had more hunter fights. We only have three in the whole game. Yeah. Yeah, he did not. It didn't work out well for Gearman. Gascoin went out and had a family, you know, all the good stuff. Well, I mean, he kills them. Well, he kills his wife. And then a pig eats his daughter. So I guess it didn't work out well for him, though. But it is a FromSoft game where nothing works out for anybody. Alright, I guess I will begin to try here at some point. I was kind of fucking around, which is why we're letting Gearman beat our ass. I don't know his timing. Apparently, if we just play super aggressive against him, he won't actually do anything. Oh, he's blocking a little bit in there. That's cool. I think. Sound like he was blocking. I'm not even sure what happened right there. Scythe time. I will figure out your parry window one of these years. Maybe he can't be- he probably can still be parried. Okay, he has poise now though. That might be it for Gearman. Yep. It sounded like something was bouncing off of um his weapon. Now we we did consume the umbilical cords. We should be good here. Bloodborne wooden shield build when I don't think you can actually do damage with it though, can you? And here has been the creator of the hunter's dream the whole time. Time for hug. Hi. Bloodborne, or uh, FromSoft loves that look with like the circle face thing. Cause all the giants have that look in the Dark Souls games as well. Oh, just use it instead of gun, yeah. It's like, bruh. Why didn't it work? Ow! You used Tell Whip. It moves very sporadically, which is creepy. Oh, this is the one health move. Yeah, it is a Sephiroth move. Can't see. Oh, is it dropping blood? It is dropping blood. 
can't, dude, you move so creepily, crawling around and shit. Ow. Oh, I can't heal. Uh, game. How long can I hit on hill for? The moon presence goes down. Time for squid. Two hundred ninety-nine thousand blood echoes. Damn. Uh, maybe it's Gearman and the moon presence combined. Yeah, the moon presence is easier than Gearman and pretty easy in general. Estelle gives better hugs. I agree. Hey, that's us. Non-official theory is that the cut moon presence is the real body of the one in the dream. Oh, I like that idea. <laughs> oh, good hunter. So I guess the implications here would be that we are maintaining the dream now, but as a great one. Right? Because obviously we ended, we... We, we slew the nightmare, which is the moon presence, just similar to how we, you know, defeated Murgo and uh, Orphan, or and Cause, and that always ends the nightmare, or the dream when that happens, so yeah, that'd be us maintaining it. Ludwig and the uh, Orphan of Cause, only hard bosses in this game. I think that Lawrence is kind of hard too, just because you have to deal with him doing your whole health in one hit. Uh, a lot. But yeah, I would agree that Ludwig and, I wouldn't even say Ludwig, I think Orphan, it's probably the hardest boss. Uh, it is the hardest boss in the game. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of Bloodborne. Uh, we basically did everything in the game. There was um, a couple of Chalice Dungeons we didn't go through. Um, I think that would have culminated in us fighting the... Um, uh, what's her name? The uh, the lady from Yarnum, whatever her name was. All signed and um, which it's a it's a cool boss fight. It's the the lady you see with the bleeding and her kid was Murgo or whatever. So it's okay that we didn't do that. I think um, if you want to see that, there's plenty of playthroughs out there. Maybe we'll do it one day. I always say I'm gonna, Queen Yarnum. Thank you. That's her name. <laughs> I always say that I'm gonna do it, but I never do it. Um, so, anyways, I really enjoyed this playthrough. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough as well. The blood build was very fun. Blood tinge build. Um, it's been a while since I've done this. It's my favorite build in the game, just because I like the Chicago. And using the Beast Hunter Scythe and the Church Pick. These are all fun weapons. So, anyways, with that, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one, which would be Sekiro. Peace.